Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Nani, where I create videos about the things that I enjoy, lifestyle, luxury, and travel. If you're new here, I'm Nani. I put out weekly videos, supposedly. That was my goal originally when I started the channel. Doing the best that I can, but I put out videos about unboxings, reviews, vlogs, travel vlogs, and sort of everyday in the life vlogs. And I recently started a series that I'm hoping to continue with called Cocktails with Nani, where we go into just different cocktail recipes that I share with you guys and try different liquors and things like that. So if you're into those same things, I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button and join me on this journey. Today I am back with my first video for 2023. Hope everyone had a great new year and that you are excited and looking forward to this year ahead. But for my first video, I wanted to do an unboxing because I have gotten a couple of new items. I'm trying to break them out and, you know, do what makes the most sense. So this first video is going to be a designer sunglasses haul. So I got myself a new pair of sunglasses and I also got my husband a pair of sunglasses. Which I will unbox and show you. So they're from two different designers. Originally, both pairs of sunglasses were from the same designer. I recorded an unboxing of those sunglasses. The video didn't turn out well and I hated the ones that I got for myself so I immediately sent them back so I don't even have them anymore and then I ordered myself a new pair of sunglasses. So hopefully the new sunglasses that I'm about to unbox, I haven't even seen them in person, I've just looked them up online. Hopefully I like them and that they will work for me because I really wanted a new pair of sunglasses. <laughs> so let's get into what I purchased. Okay, so the sunglasses that I bought for myself are from Fendi. So I think you see on my channel if you're a returning subscriber that I've done a Fendi unboxing before. The last unboxing that I did didn't have this little baguette, which is super cute. Is it like a keychain? It kind of looks like it's like a keychain. Now it's making me want a Fendi baguette. Maybe that'll be next on my wish list. But that's cute. I like that. I always like little perks. I've got I'm sure this is just like my receipt and everything. All right, guys, I am praying. I am praying that I like these sunglasses because I really want a new pair of sunglasses and I was really disappointed that the sunglasses that I ordered just did not look good on me. It's, I guess I have a big head, so I wanted a cat eye sunglasses, which is obviously like smaller, a smaller frame. And it was just all face with these tiny glasses. So I was really disappointed. So these aren't cat eye, they're bigger. Hopefully they work for my large head. So. I'm going to take that ribbon off. It's interesting to me that they put it in a bag. Okay. And then we have the box. Alright. So this is the bag that they come in. It's kind of cute. I don't... I'm not in love with like this plastic like material, but I appreciate having a bag because some of the designers don't give you a bag. And also it has this cool hook. So if you wanted to hook it onto like your purse or something like that, I do really like that actually. And, oh, these are cute. Here they are. Can you see? Hopefully you can see them good. So these are not like any sunglasses that I own. Most of my sunglasses are black. I do feel that black sunglasses look the best like with my hair color now, but even when I, my hair was black, I still wear black sunglasses. So I'm trying to force myself to get out of, you know, my comfort zone. So I thought that these were cute, that they're like just one color, but not like it's not a bright, it, like it's not too much. And I felt that like it would look right with my hair because that was something that I was concerned about. So let's see. 
And this just says, we invite you to try this item on without removing the identification tag and disposal seal. Items without the tag and seal will not be accepted in case of return. So that's good to know. It's good that they share that information. So inside is the authenticity card, which I don't know. Am I supposed to show that? I don't know. Anyway, that's the <laughs> authenticity card for the sunglasses. Obviously, instructions. And then a cute little cleaning cloth. These sunglasses are the Fendigraphy. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. So they're the Fendigraphy Transparent Khaki Acetate Sunglasses. They're in the color green. But to me, the reason that I got them is because they didn't look like that green. They looked more, like it said, it's a khaki I guess it's a khaki green, so I thought that would look really nice. They're an oversized round frame inspired by the hobo bag. Temples with inlined gold color metal Fendi maxi lettering, brown gradient lenses. They're made in Italy and they were $490. They also come in three other colors. So there's like a rose pink color, there's a white and then there is also a gray i liked the gray as well but they were sold out and so is the pink color as well let me try them on and hopefully they look <laughs> good on me what do you guys think besides like this tag that i can't take off but is it cute is it what do you think how are how are you feeling how does it look? They feel good. I feel like such an idiot with this on, but they feel good. I can't really see myself. Let me go look in the mirror real quick and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. I just, hold on. I've, I just looked in the mirror and I love these. Like it, it's giving me like 70s vibe, like back in the day. Like, I don't know. Cause I don't know, but I love it. Oh, I'm so happy. So I'm still like, I'm going to look in the mirror a little bit more because I'm so afraid to take this off. But anyway, <laughs> I like them though. They're big. This frame is, is big. And like I said, I originally was looking for a cat eyes pair of sunglasses, but they didn't look good on me. So I guess I have to go with the bigger frame. But yeah, it's giving me like, it's a vibe. It is a vibe, and I just love the sides. I just think they're so cool. They're, I don't have anything like this. I love it. They're so nice. I was a little bit worried that I was going to think that they were cheap just because of the frame, but they don't, they, they don't feel cheap. I do feel like if I had gotten a different color, the Fendi logo probably would stand out a little bit more. I do feel like it blends in, but that's okay. I think because it blends in more with the color of the sunglasses, it's not as noticeable. So I'm shocked. I really like these and I liked them, how they looked in the mirror. So I definitely wanna keep them. I wanna look in the mirror just a little bit more just to make sure before I take this tag off, but I really like them. And I like having a little bag. I don't know like what this material is. What do you guys think of this? I, I'm not in love with it. But I like that it's like padded. It's like pillowy. So it will protect your sunglasses. So that's really good. Because I have a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses. And it's just like a cloth bag that they came with. So I do appreciate that. I will move this to the side. And then I want to show you what I got for my husband because I think it's his are super, super cool. I sound like a dork. Next up is my husband's sunglasses and they are from Dior. His came with this beautiful box. I just love good packaging and this just really stands out. And I guess you could reuse this and put this little star that says Dior. Put that on something if you wanted to as well. So let's open. So I'm going to just untie the ribbon. Ugh, I love this. It's just such a nice box. Much better than the Fendi box. I don't know what material this is, but it's very nice. So the usual clean cloth says Dior. It's got the instruction manual. 
And then look at this case, you guys. It's so nice. I'm jealous. This is such a nice case. Ugh, just classy. It's just nice and sleek. And so here we go. So he just has these black Dior glasses. They're square frame. But what stood out to me, what made me want to buy these for him, I didn't see them in a the store again, just saw them online. But what really stood out to me that I thought was really cool about these glasses is that they have this Dior. It's like a rubber. The Dior sign or logo is like screwed on with this rubber, it's like a rubber material. So, you know, like most sunglasses, you know, a lot of them just have it like written, etched on, you know, to the side. This is, it's literally screwed in. It's like this rubber material and it's screwed into, into the glasses, in, into the arm of the glasses. So I just thought it would look so nice on him just really classic. He has a pair of Louis Vuitton glasses that I got him a couple years ago and they have like a, they're more of a round frame and they has like gold. So I wanted to get him something that was opposite of, or, you know, just like a little bit different than what he already had. So I thought that these would do the job. I just think they're so cool and they just, they're more casual. I feel like the Louis Vuitton sunglasses that he has are more dressy. So I thought like maybe just having just like a more casual type of sunglasses, you know, like another option would be nice. So that's what made me buy them for him. I was originally shopping for myself, but then I thought he also could use something. So that's how we ended up here. Another thing that I did not show you was that it also has this like Dior lettering i'm not sure if it's picking it up in the camera but on the inside of the arm it says dior which it just looks really cool there we go it looks really cool as well all right so the details of these glasses so these are the dior b23 S1i, I'm assuming this is, rectangular sunglasses. Because they offer a relaxed and urban look inspired by the namesake sneaker. So it's a black acetate frame embellished with a black and white rubber Dior signature insert. The interior of the temples reveals an engraved hallmark Dior oblique motif. Gray lenses and textured temple tips complete the casual cool casual I had it in cool the casual sunglasses and these were $440 I just think they'll look so nice on him he does not like to be on my YouTube channel so I will not get him to try these on for us but I'll let you know I'm 100% sure he's gonna want to keep these so that is it for my designer sunglasses haul like I said I do have a couple of other designer items that I've ordered starting the year off right with our you know getting the things that we want what was that tiktok have you guys seen that tiktok and it was like about it's like i'm a lucky girl and i get everything that i want or something like that and it was like these girls were saying that they saw someone else's tiktok saying this but it was like they started saying this and then like they started getting everything that they wanted so maybe that's what we'll just go with here i'm so lucky and i get everything that i want if i'm saying that correctly but anywho so we have some other things coming in that i'll unbox i want to do some reviews of like the things that i do have i gotta figure out some additional cocktails to add to the cocktails with nani and i'm going to do some mocktails as well because not everyone drinks alcohol i'm actually taking a break from it myself so maybe the next one that i do will be a mocktail but that's it guys thanks so much for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these kinds of videos and i will see you guys next time bye Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my mom's YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit those bell notifications.